I'm Tyler Hendricks, and I welcome you to our second talk on the principle of creation. We'll be discussing the universal prime force, give and take action, and the four position foundation. But let's start back with the Bible. Moses is revered as the great teacher of Israel. One day, after Moses had fled the Pharaoh's palace in Egypt, he was living in the land of Midian as a shepherd. And at the foot of Mount Sinai, an angel of the Lord called to him through a burning bush. Moses said that the people will say to me, what is his name? And what shall I say unto them? You see, God was giving Moses a lot of directions and, God, and Moses needed to uh, God to tell him what, what he should say, how he should identify God. So he asked that question. And God said to Moses, tell them I am that I am. Thus shall you say to the children of Israel, I am hath sent me to you. That's in Exodus chapter 3. So by, by this we know that God, the God of Moses, exists on his own, from his own power. I am that I am. All beings need energy in order to exist. So should God. Without energy, no entity can exist or multiply or act. So if God exists, God possesses energy for his existence. In the, universal, in the unification principle, we call this energy universal prime force. Now God is the creator of all things. He makes all things exist. The universal prime force God possesses is this fundamental energy within all things from God. It is the fundamental energy for all beings to exist. In scientific language, universal prime force is called prior state energy or pre-energy. With this energy, God exists and creates. Now, energy that continues in one direction eventually reaches a limit and ceases to exist. For energy to have perpetuity, there must be bi-directional interaction. As we have seen, our God possesses dual characteristics and all things in creation are created in partnership pairs. Thus, all existences function through reciprocal relationships between internal nature and external form and masculinity and femininity. Both partake of God's universal prime force, but they do so in different ways. One part initiates, and that's the subject partner. The other stimulates, that's the object partner. Prompted by universal prime force, the subject partner gives its surplus energy to the object partner, and the object partner returns even greater energy to the subject partner. We call this reciprocal movement give and receive action. When entities engage in give and receive action, initiated by the universal prime force, all the forces necessary for existence reproduction, and action are generated, and the entity can fulfill its purpose of creation. Reciprocal relationships of giving and receiving can be found between positive charges and negative charges, positive ions and negative ions, stamen and pistol, male and female, the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide between plants and animals, arteries and veins, inha inhalation and exhalation, consumption and elimination, husband and wife, myself and my neighbors, and all relationships. It's going on everywhere. It's universal. From the perspective of time and process, the universal prime force with God is the origin. The subject and object partners are the division stage, and through their reciprocal relationship, they form a union or an offspring of the origin. God, as the origin, is divided into two substances, after which they form one body. We call this process origin, division, union, action. 
in spatial terms the four positions of origin, subject partner, object partner, and the union create the four position foundation. This is the most stable and ideal structure. It is the core structure of the creation. When the circular movement of give and receive action rotates, it rotates on an axis and it becomes a sphere. And the harmony of creation thereby unfolds. The harmony and beauty of the universe unfolds through the various degrees of distance, shape, direction, angle, and speed of giving and receiving in these orbits. God possesses this sustaining force and creative power. The materialistic dialectic from Marx of thesis, antithesis, and synthesis has justified the existence of conflict and use of violence and force to make so-called progress. The philosophy of origin, division, union, action, and the four position foundation explains that progress actually comes through win-win relationships based on freedom and responsibility. So this is a true and God-centered alternative, a, a, a superseding of the Marxist theory that has dominated the world for such a long time and has done such great damage. The origin division union action and the four position foundation is a structure of universal values and mutual prosperity, not struggle and opposition. With God as the origin, all created beings exist in four position foundations of origin, division, union, action. Now there's a very important rule in give and receive action, and that rule is give first. Giving comes first. The one who gives first is the subject partner. The subject partner always takes interest in the object partner with a heart of love. He or she always cares for the object partner and puts their needs first. This is the mindset of the subject partner that reflects God's mindset as the original giver of love and giver of energy. The object partner in return feels that heart of loyalty, filial piety, good faith, respect, and gratitude toward the giver. This is the mindset of the object partner. However, we don't occupy one position only. Each one of us as an individual exists in relation to seven directions, up and down, front and back, right and left, and the center. We have different relationships with God and our parents, our teachers and employers, with our children, with our students and subordinates, with our seniors and elders, with our brothers and sisters, with our juniors and our younger brothers and sisters, with our spouse, with our neighbors and friends. Therefore, each of us acts as subject partner and object partner at the same time. We are multidimensional beings. So we learn to think and feel and act with a well-rounded personality. This makes life rich and enjoyable. And we learn to live with humility, sacrifice, service, mutual respect, consideration, and a heart to love others when we connect to this natural spiritual framework. The foundation is reciprocal relationship and the four position foundation. Jesus taught this when he said, therefore, all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. And he said, do not judge 
so that you will not be judged. For by the standard you judge, you're going to be judged. And the measure that you use will be the measure you receive. Give and receive action. Jesus said, Whoever then acknowledges me before people, I will acknowledge before my Father in heaven. And Jesus went on to teach the same principle when he said, Whoever gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones in the name of a disciple, I tell you the truth, he will never lose his reward. In the Oriental ancient script, Tsa Jue, there is a script about measuring with a ruler. This is about relating to others by putting yourself in their shoes from the position of up and down, front and back, right and left. Also in the 13th chapter of the Doctrine of the Mean, there is the script of Chung So, which says, Do not do unto others as you would not like done unto you. So this is a universal truth. We find it everywhere. This is some of the wisdom we have so that we may live together in peace. It all comes from the same God, the same Creator. The goal of establishing a four-position foundation through give and receive action is a world of interdependence, mutual prosperity, and universally shared values. Today we seek a new kind of leadership. Sensitivity and righteousness are valued. The unification principle shows the way for leadership of interdependence and mutual prosperity based on universally shared values, rooted in God. Let us enjoy life together. Let us prosper and live with virtue. The Four Position Foundation is a model based on win-win, not conflict. We strive to be altruistic, not egocentric. We live in harmony with the creation and with the Creator God. We strive to benefit each other in win-win relationships. This is the world that lifts up the person with a wide and deep embrace. This is our way of life based on God's existence. Thank you so much for listening and God bless you. We'll see you next time.